2 Kings chapter 13 verses 15 through 19, here's what it says. And the prophet Elisha said unto him, Take bow and arrows. And he took unto him bow and arrows. And he said to the king of Israel, Put thine hand upon the bow. And he put his hand upon it. And Elijah put his hands upon the king's hands and he said, Open the window eastward. And he opened it. Then Elisha said, Shoot. And he shot the arrows. And he said, The arrow of the Most High's deliverance and the arrow of deliverance from Syria. For thou shalt smite the Syrians in Aphek till thou have consumed them. And he said, Take the arrows. And the king of Israel took them. And he said unto the king of Israel, Smite upon the ground. And he smote three times and stopped. And the man of the Most High Elisha was angry with him and said, You should have smitten and shot five or six times. Then you would have smitten Syria till thou hast consumed it. Whereas now thou shalt smite Syria, but only three times. This is when the prophet Elisha was making a prophecy to the king of Israel. And he used this prophecy and he made an example where he told the king to shoot arrows. To shoot arrows out the window and to shoot arrows at the ground. The problem was that the king didn't shoot all his arrows. He only shot three of them. And this made the prophet Elisha angry and he said, You should have shot all your rounds. You should have shot all your arrows, then you would have dominated the enemy completely. But because you didn't shoot all your arrows, because you didn't shoot all your rounds, I will allow some of your enemies to remain. You will not completely eradicate them. Some of them will still be left to try to rise up to fight you later because you didn't shoot all your rounds. This is an example for us today. Because at that time, the bow and arrow was that time version of a firearm that we use today. And today, we call bullets rounds. Then, they call their arrows their ammo. The arrow in ancient times was the ammo, but now in present times, the bullet is our rounds. The bullet is our ammo. So what Elisha was telling him essentially is that to get ultimate victory, to get total dominance, you need to shoot more rounds. In order for you to win this battle decisively, you need to shoot more rounds. In order for you to be the conqueror, Elisha was telling him, you need to shoot more rounds. And this is the same thing that the Most High is telling us today. It may not be just in the example of physical ammo or bullet rounds. There's many things we use to describe by using the word rounds. Whenever we speak of rounds, one thing we think of is bullets, ammo. I need to go to the shooting range to bust off some rounds. At the scene of the shooting, they found shell casings that showed about 30 or 40 rounds were shot. Ammo is called rounds. Another word that we use whenever we say rounds is inboxing. They're going to fight for 10 rounds. This champion went the full distance. He went all 12 rounds. So in fighting, in battle, we talk about rounds. Like a fighter goes all the rounds. And another way we describe whenever we use the word rounds is work or task, meaning I got to go make my rounds. I got to go get some work done. I got to go do some things. I got to make my rounds. It means you up and about, you outside, you making moves, you in motion, you hitting all your rounds, you getting things done. So whenever the Most High is telling us in these times that we need to shoot more rounds, he's telling us that we need more power, we need more endurance and we need more work. When the Most High is telling us, just like Elisha told that king, you need to shoot more rounds, he's telling us we need more power and weapons for this battle of life. For the spiritual battles and for the physical battles, we need more rounds. We need more spiritual weaponry. We need more power. When the Most High is telling us we need more rounds, like a boxer, a fighter. We need to be able to go more rounds, meaning we need more endurance. 
in this battle of life. We need more endurance to keep going. We need more endurance to overcome suffering. We need more endurance to overcome the enemy. We need more endurance. Just like a fighter, we need to go more rounds because the fight's not over. The battle's not over. We need to go all 12. 12 representing the 12 tribes of Israel. 12 representing the 12 apostles. We need to have them always in our remembrance to give us endurance. We need to go more rounds. We need to have more endurance in this battle of life. When the Most High is telling us we need to go more rounds, we need to shoot more rounds. Like Elisha told the king, he's telling us we need to make more rounds, meaning we need to do more work. Some of us ain't out here making our rounds like we're supposed to. Some of us ain't out here putting in the work like we're supposed to. Some of us ain't out here putting in kingdom work or natural work. But the scripture says if a man doesn't work, he doesn't eat. The Messiah said, I work and my father works. So some of us are not going enough rounds, not doing enough work. We're not putting enough work down for the kingdom. We're not putting enough demonstrations down for the kingdom. So the Most High through the Holy Spirit is screaming to us from heaven, give me more rounds, shoot more rounds. I need you to have more power. I need you to have more endurance and I need you to do more work. This is what he's telling us, just like Elijah told the king. You should have shot all your rounds. You should have shot all your arrows. Then the Most High would have gave you ultimate deliverance and ultimate dominance. We are in this battle for eternal life, for ultimate deliverance and ultimate dominance. And in order to get ultimate deliverance and ultimate dominance, we need to shoot more rounds. We need more power. We need more endurance. We need to do more work. To get ultimate deliverance and have ultimate dominance Job chapter 29 verse 20 Job said my glory was fresh within me and my bow was renewed in my hand what Job was saying is that he never ran out of power he was tapped into the spirit of the most high so he always had access to power he always had access to spiritual weapons that's why he was able to endure his trial and his tribulation because he had rounds to shoot he had power he was able to overcome the temptations of the enemy for all he suffered because he had more rounds. He had more power. Job said that the power that the Most High put in his soul, his soul to overcome his hard time was like arrows that never ran out. Job was saying the Most High's power within me to endure and overcome is like a bow and arrow that never runs out. He was saying it's like an AK-47 that never runs out of ammo. It's infinite ammo in this thousand pound drum. Is what Job was saying. The Most High has given me more rounds so that I have the power to overcome the enemy. King David said in Psalm 144, 1, Blessed be the Most High, my strength, which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight. The Most High will give you the strength to shoot more rounds. In this war against warlocks, in this war against sorcerers, in this war against the wicked dark elites, the Most High is going to hand you more ammunition. He's going to hand you more shells. He's going to give you more rounds to shoot at every opponent. He's going to give you more rounds to shoot at those that hate you. He's going to give you more spiritual rounds and natural rounds to overcome in the war. So that your head be lifted up above your enemies round about you. Micah chapter 3 verse 8. But truly I am full of power by the spirit of the most high. And of judgment and of might. That's why we had to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So we would have more rounds to shoot. The anointing and the baptism of the Holy Spirit. The fire that falls from heaven gives us more rounds. It gives us more spiritual ammo. It gives us more spiritual weaponry. It gives us more power. More rounds. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, we can shoot more rounds. Through the anointing, by the laying on of hands. It's like we are given more rounds. 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 33. The Most High is my strength and power, and he maketh my way perfect. The Most High is handing you more rounds to shoot. He's giving you more weapons. He's giving you more knowledge. He's giving you more wisdom. He's giving you more anointing. He's giving you more patience. He's giving you more long suffering. He's giving you more peace. He's giving you more fellowship and relationship. He's giving you more word. He's giving you all the rounds you need to shoot to win in this war of life, to overcome, to 
operate and manifest victory, success, and destiny. The Most High has given you more rounds. So you must shoot those rounds. Don't be like the King of Israel that didn't shoot all his rounds. So it caused his enemy to be able to escape. No, we are in this for ultimate dominance and ultimate deliverance. So you must shoot all your rounds. You must have the attitude and mentality in this walk of life that you're going to give your all to the Most High and pour out your heart into this kingdom lifestyle. Shoot all your rounds until the clip is empty. And guess what? Even after that, the Most High will fill your clip right back up. He will never let your hands be weakened for the battle. Even when your clip is empty, the anointing of the Holy Spirit through fasting and prayer will fill your clip right back up. As soon as the clip runs out, the Most High will hand you another clip full of another 30 shells, giving you more rounds. Psalm chapter 110 verse 3, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. With the Most High giving you more rounds, he's strengthening your will, he's strengthening your resolve, he's strengthening your motivation, he's strengthening your discipline. Whenever he gives you more rounds, it's for a reason. More enemies, more rounds. More battles, more rounds. We are in these times where the enemies are multiplying and the battles are multiplying. So the Most High has to give us more rounds to shoot because there's more enemies to overcome. It's more temptations to overcome in these times. Everywhere you look, there's a temptation. Every time you pick up the phone, it's a temptation. Everywhere you go, it's a temptation. We are bombarded with attacks of the enemy, so we have to have more rounds to shoot. We have to walk around with the thousand pound drum in the spirit realm. Because that's what time it is right now. It's a time where we need more rounds. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 But thou shalt remember the Most High thy Elohim For it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth The Most High is handing us more rounds So that we can overcome and get the spoils of the enemy Whenever our people would go in and conquer another nation We would take all their wealth as spoils The gold, the silver, the cattle We would take everything So the Most High would give us our weapons So that we can go in there to get rich conquer the adversary, the Most High will give us power to get wealth. All these victories, we gained wealth. Every time we went there and slaughtered the enemy, we got wealth. We got the spoils of war. And this is what the same thing the Most High is doing in this time. We may, we may not be physically going in other countries or nations, killing folks up and taking the spoils, but in a spiritual sense, the Most High has given us rounds so that we can go in and get spoils. Get spoils through entrepreneurship. Get spoils of war through using our gifts, talents, and abilities and thriving in the marketplace. Getting spoils of war and having the power to get wealth by using our mind like Jacob did to be able to find loopholes in the system and exploit the loopholes in the system so that us and our families can secure the bloodline and secure the bag. That's how in these times the Most High gives us power to get wealth and the spoils of war. It's through entrepreneurship. It's through creativity. It's through gifts, talents, and abilities. It's through the blessings of Deuteronomy 28. It's through the leading and guiding of the Holy Spirit. It's through the labor of our hands. The Most High is handing us more rounds so that we can get more wealth, so that our seeds don't starve, so that our bloodlines are set up to be mighty in wealth and mighty in power, where we can reach out and touch multiple millions of dollars liquid to acquire land, to acquire businesses, to feed those in need, to lift up the head of those that's downtrodden. The Father's going to put this wealth in our hands so that we can be kingdom ambassadors with the wealth. He's given us more rounds. He's given us more wealth to be able to reach out and touch tens of millions and make motion and make moves and get things done that other people couldn't get done because they didn't have the resources. That's why the Most High has given us more rounds to make us more wealthy so we can be more impactful in this time. Revelation chapter 2 verse 26 And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end To him will I give power over the nations The Messiah said he's going to give us power He's going to give us more rounds The Messiah said I'm going to give you more rounds Because I want you to rule over all nations I'm going to put more ammo in your hand Because 
the time is gonna come where you are gonna be the elite you are gonna be the high holy overcomer you are gonna be the one on top and I'm handing you these rounds I'm handing you these golden bullets like golden eye so you can go outside like Call of Duty spiritually and go out there and conquer and dominate and do as the Holy Spirit leads to heal the sick to cast out devils to win people over to the way of the kingdom lifestyle to baptize to do the work that's why the Messiah is handing you more rounds so that you can overcome and that you would have power over the nations. That's why he's handing you more rounds for power. He's handing you more rounds for endurance so that we don't be like the disciples in Matthew 26, 36 through 44. It says, then came the Messiah with them unto a place called Gethsemane and saith unto the disciples, sit ye here while I go and pray. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then he said to them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful even unto death. Wait here and watch with me. So the Messiah took three disciples up to the mountain to pray. And it says he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, My father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will. This was right before the Messiah got arrested, right before he had to go meet his destiny to be the sinless lamb for the nation. This was before this. And he's crying out to the Father saying, Most High, give me more endurance because I'm at the point where I want this cup to pass from me. I'm at the point where this is almost getting too heavy for me. But the Messiah caught himself and he was like, Oh, nah, not my will, Father, but your will be done. So in that moment where the Messiah's knees almost buckled, Yah forbid, the Most High gave him strength from Zion. He gave him strength to endure and to go to that tree and stand on what the Father sent him to do. And eventually he resurrected and right now he's at the right hand of the Father with all power given to him. And that same power, those same rounds of power he hands to us because as he overcame, we overcome. But in this moment, the father had to deal him a new stack of endurance. And at times in our walk, our knees almost buckle like the Messiah right here. And the father has to deal us some new endurance. He has to deal us some new rounds so we can be like that boxer that goes all 12 rounds. 12 rounds for all 12 tribes of Israel. We got to go all 12 rounds in this battle for eternal life. But here's what happened next. And the Messiah came to the disciples and found them asleep and saith unto Peter, What, could ye not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. So the disciples was there with him. They were supposed to be up praying with him. This is like one, two, three, four in the morning. It's late. And the Messiah got angry with them because he was like, Y'all couldn't uh, watch with me one hour? You that weak? You couldn't watch with me one hour? You, your endurance is that low? You couldn't last an hour? And at times, this is what the Most High through the Holy Spirit is looking at us and saying, you couldn't pray one hour? You couldn't go out there and baptize one person for me? You couldn't go out there and teach, not even for 30 minutes? You couldn't witness to this one person? You went through a, a small little trial and tribulation and you folded that quick? What you gonna do when they tell you you can't eat unless you get chipped in your hand or forehead? What you gonna do when they uh, put your head to the guillotine and try to make you deny me? What you gonna do then if you already folded? You mean to tell me your endurance is already running out because these little fake phony false prophecies you've been listening to ain't coming to pass so you ready for, to forsake the most high? You, you ready to fold already? That's what the Messiah is telling them. You couldn't last an hour? And this is the same thing he's telling some of, some of us. Your endurance is that low that you done already folded and denied me. Your endurance is that low that you done already denied me and ran to witchcraft. You done, all, you done got so tired of waiting on me that you done ran back to Christianity. You done ran to Islam. You done ran to worship in the universe. You done ran to uh, back, back in the world. Your endurance was that low that you already folded? That's what the Messiah is saying to some brothers and sisters. These little stray lost sheeps 
that left the father's fold and are, are gone back to the world that have betrayed the Messiah like Judas did. This is what the Messiah is telling them. You couldn't last an hour. Where's your endurance? And he said, watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. See, this is why we need endurance so we can go more rounds. This is a heavyweight championship bout. We got to have more endurance so we can last more rounds in this battle for eternal life. In this endurance to make it to the kingdom. The only way we can have dominance and deliverance is by our endurance. It says the Messiah went away again the second time and prayed saying, My Elohim, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. And he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. So at this point, the Messiah is probably getting annoyed because he's like, I'm literally fighting for my life right here. I'm about to get arrested and go to the tree for y'all and y'all can't even stay up an hour with me. Let us not be like those people that disappoint the Most High and disappoint the Messiah. The Messiah is at the right hand of the Father looking at some of us in disappointment and disgust. Like, really? You folded already? You folded and got the jab? What? You let them put that needle in your arm? You folded already? You fell to that temptation and fornicated? What? Really? He's merciful, yes, but at the same time, I know he gets disappointed whenever we fold. Because he's looking at us like, come on, I'm trying to raise y'all up to rule all nations. And y'all arguing on Facebook over doctrine, really? I'm trying to raise y'all up to rule all nations, but some of y'all denying that he's even the son of the most high, really? No endurance, some of these people, no endurance. And I'm not here to talk down on nobody because I need endurance too. I pray the Most High give me more endurance and more rounds to last all 12 rounds of the fight. I don't want to fold in the 11th round. I don't want to fold in the 12th round. I got to make it until the trumpet sounds. I got to make it until the bell rings. And my hand, my right hand has to be exalted in victory after all this is said and done. So Most High Yehovah give us all strength to last all 12 rounds. So our name can be written in the Lamb's book of life. Let us not be like this. Let us not be like that king of Israel that didn't shoot all his rounds. Let us not be like these disciples that kept falling asleep. And this is what happens. There's a lot of brothers and sisters out there right now that sleep. They are sleeping a heavy slumber. They have forgot the laws and commands. They have uh, turned away from the Most High. They're asleep just like these disciples was. They, they learned the truth. They learned the words of eternal life, then fell right back to sleep. And it's dangerous because some of them might not never wake up. But that's why we need more rounds. We need more endurance. We got to be able to go all 12 out here. We need more endurance. Because the Messiah said in Mark 13, 13, Ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Endurance equals dominance. Endurance equals deliverance. Revelation chapter 14 verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yehoah and the faith of Yeshua Hamashiach. More endurance. Endurance equals dominance. Endurance equals deliverance. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 3 through 4. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yeshua HaMashiach. No man that warreth entangle himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. The Most High hath chosen you and I to be a soldier. We need more rounds, more endurance because endurance equals dominance. Endurance equals deliverance. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 19 And they shall fight against thee But they shall not prevail against thee For I am with thee saith the Most High To deliver thee The Most High is with you He's going to give you more rounds He's going to give you more endurance in this battle Zechariah chapter 14 verse 14 And Judah also shall fight at Jerusalem And the wealth of all the heathen round about Shall be gathered together Gold and silver and apparel in great abundance It's time to get rich the Most High has given us endurance so that we can get wealthy. 
He's given us endurance so that we can outlast these falling economies. He's given us endurance so we can outlast the spirit of poverty trying to pull us down into the abyss of being broke. It's time to get rich. It's time to get wealthy. And all the whole while we do it, we still gonna keep the commands. We still gonna be righteous. We still not gonna be worldly even with millions in the bank. It's time to be up. More rounds, more endurance. Endurance equals deliverance. Endurance equals dominance. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. We are screaming to the Most High to give us more rounds. Give me more ammo. Give me more endurance. Give me more rounds. Give me more endurance. Feed me more rounds. We're like an AR-15 screaming to the Most High, put more ammo in me, put more rounds in me, put more anointing in me, put more spirit in me, put more power in me so I can crush the pressure and not be crushed by the pressure. All esteem to the Most High Elohim, all praise to the Ancient of Days. We need more rounds. We need to shoot more rounds, meaning we need to do more work. We need to be out here making our rounds for the Most High. He has sent us out to make our rounds. He has sent us out to do the work. Nehemiah chapter 4 verse 21. When Nehemiah and those brothers was rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem, which at that time was like the ancient Black Wall Street. It says, they which build it on the wall and they that bear burdens with those that laid it, every one with one of his hands wrought in the work and with the other hand held a weapon. For the builders, everyone had his sword girded by his side and builded. So we labored in the work, and half of them held the spears from the rising of the morning till the stars appeared. So Nehemiah and them was rebuilding Black Wall Street. They was rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. And while they was working, they had a hammer in one hand and then a weapon in the other hand. So with one hand they build it, and the other hand they had ready to shoot if somebody charged them while they was trying to get the work done. That's how we need to be, doing the Most High's work strapped up with weaponry. Doing the Most High's work equipped with all the weapons of the Spirit. We need to be out here doing the Most High's work, making the Most High's rounds, because He sent us out on His business. The Most High sent us out to handle His business to make these rounds. And we got to go get the work done. It's like with the Mafia, when they used to go from business to business, extorting, they went in there like, hey, you gotta hand us over 50% of all profits. That's how we gotta be out here doing the work of the Most High, walking up on the kingdom of darkness like, look, y'all gotta get up out of here. We gotta press up on the kingdom of darkness like we the Most High's Mafia, going in there calling shots, going in there casting out demons, going in there healing the sick, going in there winning souls, doing the work, making our rounds. We need to have more rounds. We need to do more work. As it says in 2 Chronicles chapter 15, verse 7, Be ye strong, therefore, and let not your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. This is what you need to understand. Your work will be rewarded. Your prayers will be rewarded. Your fasting will be rewarded. Your patience will be rewarded. So keep doing the work. Put it, bus off more rounds, shoot more rounds, do more work, for your work shall be rewarded. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10. Whatsoever thine hand find to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. What this scripture here is saying, we only got one life. That's it. So you better put in all the work you can for the Most High's kingdom because you only got one chance at this thing. If you F this up, then you're going to be a loser for eternity. You only got one chance to stand up and lead your family. If you F this up, your family could get destroyed. You are being relied on. You are being looked up to. You can't F this up. You got to do this work with all your might because all you got is one chance. And if you F it up, you're going to be an eternal loser. So you need to shoot more rounds. You need to do more work. If you still got breath in your body, you need to make something happen. Don't let your family starve. Go out there and work. Go out there and get your money up. Don't let the Most High be disappointed in you. Go out there and do kingdom work so you can have mansions built in, in the kingdom. Stack up them kingdom treasures. Put in the work. Make more rounds. Do more work. 
Matthew chapter 5 verse 16 Let your light so shine before men That they may see your good works And glorify your father which is in heaven We need to be busting more rounds We need to do more good works Matthew chapter 16 verse 27 For the son of man shall come In the glory of his father with his angels And then he shall reward every man According to his works John chapter 4 verse 34 the Messiah said to them my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work that's how we need to feel about doing this kingdom work this kingdom work needs to be like eating a nice steak to us that's how good it needs to feel the Messiah said his food is doing the will of the father and finishing the work that's how it needs to feel to our soul to do the work of the father like eating a nice Juicy steak from Outback Steakhouse. You know what I'm saying? That's how it needs to be doing the will of the Father. It needs to be a joy and a pleasure to us. It needs to be a joy and a pleasure to suffer for the Most High's kingdom. Because that suffering leads to strength and overcoming. Not the type of suffering like suffering as a loser. No, nah, I'm talking about a champion's suffering. A champion's sacrifice. The pain of sacrifice that a champion has to put in to win multiple championships. The pain and sacrifice a fighter has to put in to win multiple belts. The pain of sacrifice that a son or daughter of Abraham has to put in to wear many crowns in the kingdom. John chapter 9 verse 4. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh with no man can work. It's time to put in the work. It's time to bust more rounds. Galatians chapter 6 verse 4 But let every man prove his own work And then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone And not in another The scripture is saying You as a man You as a woman Have to prove your own work Because it's not going to be the whole nation That stands before the most high on judgment day It's going to be you You alone got to stand before the father And answer for your works So you better have some works That you can present to him Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 through 20 What's the work? What's the rounds we gotta hit? The Messiah told us Go ye therefore and teach all nations Baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Ruach Hakadesh, the Holy Spirit Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you So the Messiah sent us out to make our rounds To do our work And if you're not doing enough work You need to do more work You need to shoot more rounds and if you are out here doing the most high's work, do even more work. Shoot more rounds. Put in more work for the kingdom. Why? Because Revelation chapter 22 verse 12. Behold, I come quickly, saith the Messiah, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. So most high, holy one of Israel, please give us more rounds. So we can shoot more rounds. Give us more power, more endurance, so we can do more work. Hallelujah. Shalom.